This is Oliver. He's an Icelandic sheepdog. They are bred to herd sheep, so they are from the country of Iceland. They're a very trainable dog. They're very sweet. They're a middle-sized dog, so they're somewhere between 25 and 35 pounds generally. They are a very good with kids. They're good with other animals. He actually goes to work with me every day, so he's he lives in the office life. He works for Ford Motor Company, jokingly, you know. Um, so, but they're, he does agility. They're great for dock diving. They love water. Um, they're pretty easy grooming wise. They're very wash and wear. Uh, they don't require much of anything. Uh, he got a bath about a week ago, and I brought him here, and that's what he looked like when he left the house, and that's what he looked like when he went in the show ring. So yeah, they're pretty easy guys. <laughs> He was select dog, um, he, which is sort of like second place male. Uh, he did actually finish 2019 as the number one Icelandic sheepdog in the country. So he's he's had a good weekend so far. His name? <laughs> Oliver. Oliver, and what does Oliver like? He likes squirrels. Those are his favorite things. If you are there squirrels, Oliver? Is this there squirrels? Where's squirrels? <laughs> Do you see any squirrels? <laughs> He doesn't see any squirrels, unfortunately. <laughs> but that is his favorite thing to hunt and find, are the, are the tree bunnies. <laughs> Oliver, are you a good boy? Yeah, he's a very good boy. <laughs> he, is, he is super trainable. Like, I can call him off of anything except squirrels. Like, if we're outside, we live in the middle of nowhere, and if he sees a squirrel anywhere, he's going to find the squirrel, and he will circle the tree until he can ask the... He is convinced that the squirrel will not come down. But, but he's my water dog too. He goes kayaking with me. He's, you know, he goes dock diving. He's, he's kind of a do anything kind of dog. They're just one of those dogs that'll really truly just do whatever you want. How long does it take to groom a dog like this? They're really, really low maintenance. People never believe me when I tell you that you can give them a bath, you know, every couple months and they don't really require being brushed. Um, jokingly, the woman sitting next to us, she took her dog for a walk in uh, Central Park yesterday and she rolled in dog poop and she dropped, you know, it dried off and she brushed it out and we were good. So, <laughs> oh, horse poop, yeah, sorry. Does she shed? They do shed. They're a double coated breed. You can see he's a little toasty in here. But the shedding can be controlled with regular grooming. If you take the time to give them a bath every couple weeks or every couple months, I'm sorry, when they're shedding, maybe a little more often, maybe once a month. It will really cut down on the shedding. You won't notice the extra hair nearly as bad. When they're not shedding, they're really not a dog that requires a lot of baths. They stay naturally very clean. The dirt just falls off of them when they dry. He is notorious for being covered head to toe in mud and it dries off and he looks like he just got a bath. It's one of the things that I love about them is that you don't have to do a lot. You can notice that like none of the Icelandic sheepdog people here even have grooming tables with us because it's just unnecessary. They just simply don't need all that extra work.